You do, Tank Lit. What's up? What's good with you and yours? So, I'm flying through time, right? On some Back to the Future, Star Wars, Star Trek. Just trekking, you know? Just like trekking, flying, doing crazy shit. And it's me and Tom Hanks this time. Like on some Da Vinci Code shit, but it's also like angels versus demons or angels and demons. And you're trying to figure out who got the light, who with the darkness, who in the darkness, but they really want the light. <laughs> so, you know, I'm forever in that search for the light through these tears because I wrote that book, you know, the autobiography of uh, the Jason Lip story, who's also Tank Lip, yours truly right here. So I'm searching because that's, that's what you do when you trek. That's what you do when you fly. Otherwise, why the fuck you flying? Why you need wings if you ain't searching for nothing? You just be walking. I be flying. So it's me and Tom Hanks, because I need a bosom buddy, because, you know, got to feel them titties on my man Tom. Uh, plus, he's just that dude. And shit's terminal. Because why wouldn't it be? We was already with Arnold Schwarzenegger the other day, and that's the Terminator. So there got to be some destination, because he on some Back to the Future shit, except he usually going back... And he going to the future, which Michael J. Fox was doing too, on some science shit in the time machines. So I know we're going back and forth, but that's what you do. You're going back and forth from the past to the future and uh, basically keep doing it on repeat. Eventually you find what you're looking for. And then you probably fucking kill something or someone. And uh, that's a wrap. <laughs> Except no burritos this time. Just the cheese. Smiling. Here I am. You dude. So I'm like, yo, Tom. Fuck's going on? What are we looking for this time? We already did Mona Lisa in the movies. Uh, and Lisa wasn't really moaning. She was going to Texas. And he's like, yo. I'm looking for some no, new people for that new movie. Apparently, we already got you casted, Tank, because you're fucking flying with me. I'm like, damn fucking straight should have be, been me in all them movies hanging out in the airport. Instead of getting kicked off the airplanes and somehow I'm going through some, uh, like... Cat scan or some weird shit in the hospital after I get kicked off the airplane to find out what's wrong with my brain while I was going so crazy on the aircraft before it took off. And you apparently get free uh, Rome of the airport and you're the custodian and the fucking main star of the movie. I'm like, I would have much rather been the main star of the movie than go through all the shit you did and not get paid for it. So I'm like, yo, Tom, what's good, my man? You know, Tom Hanks, it's him. It was him. It was definitely me and Tom, Tank Lip and Tom Hanks. So uh, he's like, yeah, you know, this ain't that Spider-Man shit. It's more like Batman on some, like, the Joker is obviously the devil and Batman's in some spell that the Joker put him in, but he's basically, you know, God held hostage by the devil. Which one's God? Is it God or the devil? And maybe this time they're not the same. Maybe they're two different people. So, uh, you know, shit's very complicated. It's not a black and white situation, but we want to cast, you know, give fair opportunities so it can't just be me and two white guys, me and Tom both being white, so we gotta get Morgan Freeman in there, he's usually playing God, and if he's not playing God in the movies he's got the voice of God it sounds like fucking God came down to have a little chat with you and talk to you, so we gotta get Morgan Freeman in there, so now it's me, Tom Hanks and Morgan Freeman but what movie doesn't have some good sex 
So we also want to ke- we want it to be not one verse two or or just two white guys and one black guy. It's kind of like the two white guys is trying to jump the black dude and the black people always all always I shouldn't say always already pissed off for that slavery shit. So we got to be careful there. <laughs> Um, so we got to cast another black dude. So why wouldn't it be Samuel L. Jackson? Since you want to get some good sex in the movie, you you do Shaft, <laughs> and like somehow somebody Shaft is in the movie. But we want to keep it PG for the kids, so they watch this video. So we won't get too graphic here. We'll just say Samuel L. Jackson was with us too on some shaft shit so now it's da vinci code god came down to talk to you and uh shaft and like you know it's angels versus demons so for a little bit we might be in the pits of hell so why wouldn't brad pitt also be with us so brad pitt's there and obviously it can't just be a fucking cock fest so uh you gotta get some women there Brad's close to Jennifer. Her last name's Aniston. So you're already thinking, well, any good sex can't just be a wet pussy. It's got to be a, get a little anal in there. So Anna, Aniston, maybe Anna's having sex. Or maybe it's just Jennifer Aniston having sex. Getting plugged in the ass. Not just by Brad, all five of us. So she's there. Plus, this movie's going nowhere quick. <laughs> So, you know, there's always somebody in charge. So if it's a horrible movie already, why wouldn't it be horrible bosses? Maybe we'll get Jason Bateman and some other fucking funny characters. So if we're in the midst of hell, at least we have a couple laughs. So it's a lot of fucking people right now. And the way I analyze things, it's might as well could be Vince Vaughn playing me. Except we just look different. He'd probably play the part of my best friend, except the personality is probably more like me. So we got to get my man Vince Vaughn. And if we dodge and shit in hell, it's a dodgeball situation. Why wouldn't it be Ben Stiller? We all need some grandparents. And, you know, his mom and dad aren't usually far behind. So, you know, on some like Seinfeld type shit. So might as well get Jerry and Kramer. It's a whole fuck. It's all, all Hollywood's there but we're like on some angels and demons shit on some da vinci code searching for something and the funny thing about us searching for something is who's everywhere where you don't really have to search too much for him because the guy's just fucking everywhere and he's always punching a slap and a spanking somebody is your dude will smith so of course He's there, but I'm not sure if we found him or he found us or we just walked into him because he's just everywhere. He fucking lines us up like execution style, not even any rope or tying us up, no handcuffs. Somehow we're just all lined up and he just starts from one end of the line with his hand, all right? And he's just smacking the shit out of us in the face but we all get one slap because once it goes by there then you're on to the next guy's getting slapped Tom's getting slapped Brad Pitt's getting slapped funny thing is everyone got slapped and uh, we know Will doesn't discriminate against women so Jennifer Aniston was getting either punched, slapped, or spanked but he got all of us so she was at the end of the line And of course, she gets spanked on the booty, licious, and it was a good time. And, uh, you know, Tank Lip, lyrics over gimmicks, all of these people, and Will Smith got us all. He punched and slapped and spanked the shit out of all of us. It was a fucking slap party. Spanking good old fun. You do Tank Lip, lyrics over gimmicks.